You are listening to the PCEC Devotion and Prayer with Pastor Grico Villanueva. Pinagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. I am Pastor Grico Villanueva from River of God and also from Transformation and Revival PCEC. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and the privilege to share God's Word, especially on the topic of prayer. Purihin ang Panginoon. So, would you open your Bibles with me in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Sabi ng Bible, If my people were called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal our lands. So, ibig po sabihin ito, if my people, it means us, Christians, God's people, God's children, sons and daughters of God, when we come into an agreement, when we come to God's presence to pray, to seek Him with all of your heart, worship Him, it can be in your private time with the Lord, or it can be corporately can pray together. There is power when God's people pray. And the Lord is giving us the assurance that whenever we pray, the Bible says that He will answer our prayer. He will hear our prayers. So for us to see miracles, for us to see breakthroughs and the supernatural, the key for us to receive from God can be found in the power of prayer. Si Jesus po, nagpray po siya. Early in the morning, Mark 1 verse 35, early in the morning, He prayed, He seek God, the Father. Okay? Meron po siyang constant and continuous communion, continuous um, lifestyle of prayer. Ang prayer po, okay, hindi tayo nagpe-pray sa oras lang na may pangangailangan tayo. Nagpe-pray po tayo because prayer develops our relationship with the Lord. I believe the highest form of prayer is worship. Because nagpe-pray po tayo not just for us to receive blessings from the Lord, but most importantly, to develop our relationship with God. The pursuit of prayer is relationship development. The goal of prayer is intimacy. Kung bakit po tayo nagpe-pray? Because we develop our relationship with the Lord. Yung mga blessings at yung mga benefits of, of, of prayers po or resulta ng ating mga pananalangin po ay Ano na lang po yung produkto ng ating malalim na relasyon sa Panginoon? Bakit po? Dahil ang first and greatest commandments is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandments. And sabi ni Jesus sa Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 38, pag kinranslate niyo po yun sa Espanyol, Ang ibig po sabihin nun is, Ama al Señor, con todo tu ser, con todo tu mente, con todo corazón. Ibig sabihin kapatid, todo mo na. Kaya pag magpe-pray ka, mag-worship ka, kapatid, spend quality time in prayer. Miracle happens when God's people pray. Napakarami po ng resulta. Nandyan po yung breakthroughs, nandyan ang healing, nandyan ang katagumpayan. Your victory depends on how much you pray. Lahat po ng mga nagkaroon po ng mga conflicts, ng battles, ng wars, ng problems, ng crisis sa Biblia, they, they receive their victory because they humble themselves before the Lord. They seek God's face. They prayed. They worship the Lord. In other words, they put their trust in the Lord. At ano po nangyari? There's a divine intervention, divine manifestations. Naniniwala po ako that the God we serve is a God of miracles. 
So the only way for us to receive miracles, lahat po mga nakalagay sa Bible, especially in the New Testament, in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, here on earth, lagi po sinasabi ni Jesus, your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you well. Because of your faith, great faith, hallelujah, prayer is a declaration that is a declaration of our faith in God. It is impossible to please God without faith and it is impossible to receive from God without faith. So kapatid, pag po tayo magpe-pray, may pananampalataya po tayo. It's a demonstration of our faith in the Lord. And I believe as you call upon the name of the Lord, He promised to His word, Call unto me and I will answer you. So the Lord is giving us the assurance that whenever His children pray, whenever God's people pray, He is going to answer our prayers. It's not an accident na pinapanood mo ngayon ang video na ito at ang mensahe na ito. The Lord wants you to pray like never before. We are facing a global crisis right now. Buong mundo po nakakaranas nitong pandemonic na ito. Okay? Na dinapinagdadaanan ng buong mundo because of the coronavirus. Okay? But I want to say to you that our God is bigger than our enemy. God is still in control. Hallelujah. At magaganap at mangyayari ang kalooban ng Panginoon dito sa mundong itong ating kinatatayuan ngayon. We are living in the most exciting time of our lives. And I believe the key for us to receive, to, to, to see revival, great awakening is when we pray. Amen? Ang susi para mapagtagumpayan mo ang hamon ng buhay, ang susi para mapagtagumpayan mo ang crisis, ang susi para mapagtagumpayan mo ang lahat na mapinagdadaanan mo ay pananampalataya, pagtitiwala, at panalangin sa ating Diyos na buhay. The God that you and I serve is a God of miracle. All that God is and all that God has can be received through prayer. Amen? Hallelujah. Naniniwala po ako na tatanggapin mo ang himala mo, tatanggapin mo ang, ang biyaya at ang pagpapala ng Panginoon dahil pinangako niya sa kanyang salita na when we ask, it shall be given unto us. Sabi ng Bible sa James chapter 4, you have not because you ask not. Kaya sabi ng Bible sa Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. So whenever we ask to God, it means we verbally present our needs, our requests to God. And He promised to His word that He will heal us. He will deliver us. He will show Himself mighty to us. Hallelujah. Because we are His children. Naniniwala ako na hindi lamang po basta nating ipanalangin ng ating mga personal o mga ating mga pangsariling mga pangangailangan lamang, kundi ipanalangin din po natin ang bansang Pilipinas. Ipanalangin din po natin ang, ang mga iglesia. Ipanalangin natin ang mga lingkod ng Panginoon. Ipanalangin natin ang bawat Pilipino dahil meron pong magandang plano, meron pong magandang layunin Meron pong magandang panawagan at kalooban ng Panginoon sa bansang Pilipinas at sa mga iglesia dito sa ating bansang Pilipinas. Amen? Our nation is chosen by God. Marami pong mga prophesy po, marami pong nagbibigay ng kapahayagan sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga lingkod, kanyang mga mouthpiece, na ang bansang Pilipinas will be a missionary sending nation a ship nation, a, a nation that is blessed nation. Ito po ang panawagan ng ating bansa. Pilipinas, pinili tayo, hinirang tayo ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. And for us to see, 
for us to see greatest awakening sa huling panahon dito sa ating bansa, kailangan po natin manalangin. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. So let's be united in praying for our nation. Let's be united for praying, praying for the body of Christ, for the church leaders, for the pastors, for the bishops. I believe may gagawin matindi ang Panginoon sa ating bansa, sa mga iglesia. The Lord will going to do great and mighty things and we are about to see the power of God, the move of the Holy Spirit, revival, great awakening, and outpouring of the Holy Spirit na marami po ang maliligtas. We are living in the season of the supernatural. The, the enemy is trying to paralyze the church. The enemy is trying to close the mouth of God's people. But nagkakamali po siya. All things work together for good to those who love Him. And I know the purpose and the reason why you're watching right now because you love the Lord. All things work together for good to those who love Him. Hallelujah. And what the enemy meant for evil, God can turn it for good. Hallelujah. Because God is powerful and God is in control. The God we serve, He is El Shaddai. Hallelujah. The God of more than enough. The God who is powerful, awesome, and mighty. Hallelujah. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? Gusto ng Panginoon na lumapit tayo sa Kanya. Gusto ng Panginoon na magpakumbaba tayo sa Kanya. Gusto ng Panginoon na tayo sumamba sa Kanya. Regardless of our denomination, regardless of our theological differences, the Lord is calling us to be united. The Lord is calling us to seek Him. to worship Him, to pray together, to love one another, to evangelize the lost, to make disciples of this nation. At ang pangako ng Panginoon, He will be with us to the very end of the age. So, brothers and sisters, hindi aksidente na napapanood mo ngayon ang mensaheng ito. The Lord is calling us for a greater purpose and for us to see God's will be done here in our lives, here in our nation, Let's pray. Let's worship the Lord like never before. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to fill us, to visit us, to 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 show himself in our midst. And as we call upon the name of the Lord, we will see great awakening, revival in our nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sabi ng Bible Whatever you ask in my name, in whose name? In the name of Jesus Christ, He will give to us. So, let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for our president. Let's pray for this, for our government. Let's pray for every Filipino people from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao na makakilala sila sa Panginoon. And I believe, kapag po pinapanalangin natin ang hindi lang ating pang sarili, kundi ang bansang Pilipinas, ang bawat, ang bawat Iglesia, ang bawat lingkod ng Lord, ang bawat um, bawat Pilipino, I believe na si Lord, ibe-bless din ang family mo. Dahil pag binless ng Lord ang church, binless ng Lord ang bansa natin, apektado po tayong lahat. Pagpapalain po tayo ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! In the midst of crisis, we will see the power of Christ in our nation. So I encourage you to pray to seek God's face, humble yourself with humility, hallelujah, with love, hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, ngayon pong araw na ito, ipinapanalangin namin namin bansang Pilipinas, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you are in control of our nation. So sa pangalan ni Jesus, Lord, We declare, Lord, that you are the Lord of this nation and the Philippines belongs to Jesus Christ. From Luzon, Visayas, in Mindanao, we pray, O God, that you will save every Filipino people, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, Lord, that you will bless, Lord God, this nation. Bring this nation to its prophetic destiny, O God. As a missionary sending nation, as a ship nation, as the pearl of the Orient, Lord God, 
the richest nation in Southeast Asia for the gospel, for the advancement of your kingdom. Surround this nation, Lord, with your precious blood. Surround this nation, Lord God, with your power, with your glory, Lord, na hindi mananaig, Panginoon Diyos, ang foreign invasion. Hindi kami masasakop ng ibang bansa, Lord God. Bagkus po, protektahan nyo ang aming bansa, Lord God, from foreign invasion and natural calamities in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we believe, Lord, that you will move mightily, Lord God, sa aming bansa at sa bawat iglesia, Panginoon Diyos. Hallelujah. You will bless your church. You will empower your people. You will give us a fresh anointing, Lord God. You will strengthen your church because you promised to your word, Lord God, that you will build the church, Lord, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So we were going to advance. We are going, Lord God, to expand. And we are going, Lord, to see greater harvest of souls, harvest of miracle, and harvest of finances, Lord, in every local churches. Makikita namin, Panginoon, ang yung Himala. Makikita namin, Panginoon, ang yung kapangyarihan. At makikita namin, Panginoon, ang yung kabutihan. Because your goodness will lead every people, Lord, especially the Filipino people, into repentance. Lord, We are so excited, Lord, sa gagawin niyo, Panginoon Diyos, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Pagpalain po tayo ng Panginoon natin Diyos. You listen to the PCEC Devotion and Prayer with Pastor Grico Villanueva. For more devotionals, visit the PCEC Facebook page at facebook.com slash PCECPH.